Hey, how you doing? My name is Jeff Stoltz. I play Walter Sherman on Fox's new mid-season dramedy, The Finder, starring uh, Michael Clark Duncan, Maddie Hassan, Mercedes Michonne, and myself. Let's see, I think the best way to describe our show is um, we are in a sense born out of Bones, but not necessarily a spinoff. The way I like to describe it is uh, it's as if Bones did a, uh, a crossover episode with the show that didn't exist yet. Um, so we are uh, the creator of our show, Hard Hanson Created uh, Bones. We had this fantastic idea to kind of spin uh, Mike and myself off of an episode of Bones, and here we are in this world of the Finder. Um, David Boreanaz's character from Bones and I had a, a history that we, we knew each other back when uh, we were serving in Iraq. We didn't like each other, uh, but he just knew that I was good at finding things, so he kind of, uh, in an episode this year, or this past year, he enlisted the, the help of my character in finding something, and lo and behold, here we are. Um, yeah. On a serious note, the fact that he would never take himself seriously drew me to uh, Walter. I, he's fun, he's quirky, um, it's an opportunity for, um, you know, uh, we can, what we would normally perceive as like a, a leading man to be um, a goofy and not take himself seriously and to get beat up and to fall down when he thinks he's being cool and to get himself in situations all the time that he can't get himself out of. He's, uh, he's just a lot of fun. I, I really liked uh, the tone of the show, the way Hart wanted to take it, um, and that they've allowed me to continue to be a moron. All, it's all across the map, um, we, it's as varied as you can imagine. Uh, we're finding a serial killer, we're finding a meal, we're finding uh, lost tracks on a record. It's uh, all over the place. I think Mike and I have an interesting relationship where we just, all we do is joke around um, and tease one another. He obviously thinks that he is better at it and is completely wrong. He's uh, the easiest guy in the world to tease. He's the nicest, most, oh, he's just so adorable. He's just a big teddy bear. Oh, he loves, he hates that. Um, yeah, we, we, that's kind of the way it is. His character is kind of a little bit more of the, he's grounded. He keeps me out of trouble. He thinks uh, he knows that I've got a little bit of, uh, let's say, uh, neuroses and a little bit. I'm not all there. He's a bit of my minder. Um, so yeah, he's he's more the straight guy and more the uh, the fruitcake. Have you been Isabella and Willa fit into this new world? Well, uh, Willa is uh, she's kind of this gypsy juvenile delinquent that is serving uh, pro her, she's serving out her probation by working at uh, the ends of the earth restaurant with uh, under Leo's guidance and Leo kind of takes her under his wing and he wants to try to help her out and I'm constantly it's a it, it's a fun little tug of war where he's trying to keep her on the straight and narrow and I'm, and I'm constantly trying to take advantage of her um, underworldly skills of like knowing how to break into things and do it. like so I try I, I enlist her help in doing all my um, finding uh, and Leo's always getting mad at me for it Actually, no, that's not even true. He gets mad at her for going along with it. He never gets mad at me because he expects me to do that. <laughs> it's kind of great. And then um, Mercedes Isabel Zambada, she is, um, in essence, I guess, uh, Walter's love interest. She is kind of, uh, she's a, a Miami Sheriff's Department deputy who has aspirations to become the Attorney General. So she, she certainly is, um, she's very ambitious and she's got a plan that she wants to take over the world, essentially. Um, and I, I don't necessarily fit in that plan other than uh, we, we use each other for, uh, she uses me to do the things that she can't do under the confines of the law and I use her for information and uh, we both use each other for um, sex. It's fantastic. It's the greatest show in the history of time. <laughs> so you're obviously very There'll be sex. something for everybody. If you like nakedness, it's everywhere. If you don't, it's not. <laughs> okay. If you like funny, it's there. If you don't, it's not funny.